Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101. I'm Scott Trello. We're going to talk Browns and uh, Cavs, and we're going to talk uh, uh, the Tribe and Major League Baseball. Uh, we'll talk all that, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Which American League team represented their league in the 2014 World Series? I will have, I will have the uh, answer later on the podcast. Turning to the Browns, Marvin Wilson didn't spend much time thinking about uh, the 2021 NFL Draft when it concluded. Wilson, a defensive tackle prospect from Florida State, expected a phone call at some point uh, mid to late rounds on the final day of the draft after recording 9.5 sacks and 10 tackles in four seasons with the uh, Florida State Seminoles. Uh, Wilson was uh, poised to crack crack an NFL roster, and he expected the opportunity to arrive via a phone call from an NFL GM. That call, that call never came. Well, the draft didn't go as planned for me. Uh, personally, Wilson said in in a recent interview on the best on best podcast available, it was a roller coaster. Uh, it was a roller coaster, lots of ups and downs. Uh, once the draft uh, concluded, however, Wilson was one of the most popular players uh, being discussed in NFL front office offices. He uh, fielded. Uh, phone calls from several teams looking to add him as an undrafted free agent. So, hours following the final pick of the draft, uh, the decision was his to select where he'd start his NFL career. He picked the Cleveland Browns. He picked Cleveland. Cleveland just seemed uh, like the right, like the perfect situation for me, he said. I'll have opportunities to make the team. That's all I need. It's not hard to see Wilson's logic. The Browns have eight defensive tackles currently on their roster and will likely use the bulk of training camp to determine uh, the positions uh, the, the posi- to determine the position's depth. Excuse me. Uh, Wilson at six foot three, 307 pounds, uh, certainly has the uh, the uh, the bulk the uh, the uh, the uh, the billing uh, the uh, the bulk and uh, college resume to make a run at a roster spot. He's only 22 and has plenty of time to grow. Uh, the competition. Uh, we'll also include Andrew Billings, uh, Billings, a five-year veteran who opted out of the 2020 season, a uh, 10-year veteran, uh, Malik Jackson, Jordan Elliott, uh, Malik McDowell, Damian Square, and Sheldon Day, and 2021 fourth-round rookie Tommy Togiaye. Uh, none of these players started for the Browns last season, with the exception of Elliott, who made one start, which leaves the race for starting spots and depth wide open. The prize, the prize, uh, a chance to receive snaps between Pro Bowl edge my- rushers Miles Garrett and Javon Clowney, uh, and play defense uh, overhauled with some of the best defensive free agents of the 2021 market. Now, from the defensive end standpoint, uh, the tackles and both the linebackers, uh, defensive ba- and defensive backs, uh, it just seemed like a great place where I can fit in, Wilson said. <laughs> and that is absolutely true. And uh, uh, mini camp, Brown's minicamp just concluded and uh, well, rookie minicamp, excuse me, just concluded. And they, uh, uh, Stefanski liked what he saw 
and we'll see what happens when the Browns minicamp begins in just a few weeks. Turning now to the Cavs, uh, the big question going around is, is Colby Altman the right man for the job? Colby Altman took over as the Cavs general manager in the summer of 2017 after David Griffin's contract expired while Cleveland returned uh, to the NBA Finals for a fourth straight uh, season in uh, a season in 2018 in Altman's first uh, general manager as general manager uh, the Cavs amassed a 60 and 159 record in the three seasons since the worst mark in the league and uh, that spanned by by a 15 game margin while Cleveland was destined for a rebuild from the moment LeBron James left for Los Angeles uh, in 2018, Altman's work as the Cavs general manager has become the subject of debate. While he's made some uh, solid draft picks without much uh, lottery luck, no less, Cleveland enters the upcoming offseason with a mixed uh, matched roster that still lacks a true centerpiece to build around. What's more uh, is that the Cavs uh, culture has left something to be desired with incidents raging from Kevin Love's apparent unhappiness uh, to the team's trading uh, to the team trading Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, following a locker room incident to Andre Drummond, Drummond being benched before ultimate, ultimately being bought out. Uh, fa uh, factor in uh, Chairman Dan Gilbert's track record of uh, impatience, and it's uh, fair to wonder whether uh, uh, Altman will be returning uh, run and running Cleveland's roster for a fifth straight season. Now, Altman has a grade of, of a C-, minus, and I do feel that uh, there's going to be talk, and uh, I don't think he's going to, he may or may not return for a fifth straight season as the Cavs GM. And, uh, and I, my uh, co-anchor, who I do sports with, Keith Norman, you can hear as a frequent calling guest, a re regular calling guest, I should say, on the big show hosted by Tony Rizzo on, w, on, sport, on uh, uh, sports radio AMA 50 WKNR. He also agrees because he, he knows uh, and that the team, that uh, Cavs GM Kobe Altman has a C- minus uh, uh, grade with the uh, league and has not done well the past three seasons as the Cavs have struggled and have not made the playoffs and uh, they need to find a centerpiece to build around. The other question is uh, will we have Kevin Love back next season? Uh, he may just retire. I don't know. And will they, tra or will they extend Colin Sexton's contract or trade him? Those are some other questions. Now I'll keep you updated on, this de on these developing stories. Uh, we're going to get to the Indians in just a moment, uh, but right now it is time to uh, reveal the answer uh, to today's uh, Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Uh, which American League team represented their league in the 2014 World Series? And if you said the Kansas City Royals, you are correct. With only two American League teams listed, the Royals surprised everyone in their endeavor, uh, endeavors to reach the promised land. In the wild card game, they defeated the Oakland Athletics in one game to advance to the ALDS. There they defeated the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim three games to none. And in the ALCS, they blanked the Orioles four games to none. And in the World Series against the San Francisco Giants, they lost it all in four games. Uh, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four games to three outcome. I'll have another uh, trivia question on my next podcast. So stay tuned for that. Uh, now moving on to the Indians, the Tribe beat uh, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim 3-2 uh, to two last night at Angels Stadium in Anaheim, California. Uh, 
Aaron Savali was on the hill for the Tribe uh, last night. Savali went seven innings, giving up four hits, two runs, uh, four hits, two earned runs, excuse me, one being a bat and struck out eight batters. Then the bullpen came in and took over and got the job done and were able to hold off uh, the Angels. Emmanuel Clays came on in the eighth, gave up one hit, and James Karinchek came on in the ninth and uh, struck out two batters and got the save. And the final got the final out and the save and the win for the tribe. The tribe was down two to one in the fifth when Jake Bowers hit a solo home run to tie the game at two. Then in the top of the sixth, Josh Naylor singles on a ground ball to shortstop uh, Jose Iglesias, deflected by pitcher Tony Watson. Uh, Jose Ramirez scores, and the tribe was up was up uh, three to two. And uh, and the Tribe went on to win this game last night by the final score of 3-2. to two. Aaron Savali gets the win. He goes to 6-1 and one in the season. Tony Watson gets the loss. He go, falls to 2-2. Two and, two. and James Karinchek gets his fifth save of the season. The Tribe is off today, but they'll be back in action tomorrow night as they will begin a three-game series with the Minnesota Twins at home at Progressive Field. Tristan McKenzie on the hill for the Tribe. Uh... Tomorrow night with a record of one and two, and the twin and the twins starting pitcher is to be determined. First pitch for tomorrow night's game between the Tribe and Twins uh, is at 7:10 p.m. on Valley Sports, Great Lakes, Ohio, and you can hear the game on the radio home of the Tribe, WTAM 1100, and on the sister station, 100.7 WMMS. Well, there have been a lot of no hitters this off season. As uh, former Indian Corey Kluber pitched a no-hitter in the Rangers' victory over the Yankees last night. And the bulk of the no-hitters in this uh, young season uh, have uh, come from the Texas Rangers and the Cleveland Indians. I just thought I'd mention that because there's been a lot of no-hitters in this young Major League season so far. And uh, hopefully the Tribe will continue their uh, winning streak. and, And we'll... See what happens. See if they can take the Twins all three games beginning tomorrow night. <coughs> well, that's just about going to wrap it up for this edition of Scott Sports 101. I'll be back with another podcast this weekend. Uh, but until then, always remember to be a team player each and every game, each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.